Hello and welcome to your funky honky with Let's Play Rise and Fall of Civilization Inja! Episode 1. So, let's go over the unique power and goals. Unique power, the power of spirituality. No anarchy in revolutions. Hell yeah, you can flip your civics and your religions without going to anarchy. It's really damn handy. And now the goals. Found Buddhism and Hinduism? Very easy. Found at least five religions. This is tricky. This is very tricky, and frankly, the first one requires a decent bit of luck, so here's hoping this doesn't take too many tries. And finally, have the world's highest population in 1200 AD, which as long as you space your cities apart and you don't, um, and uh, you get all your resources cultivated, you should be fine. So, we're playing as Ashoka of the Indians, and look at that, I'm still playing on Viceroy. Shocking, I know. And there's no turns to go by, so let's just head straight into it. Alright, and here we are at the dawn of man in 3000 BC. So, you've sent your settler over here to settle on the sugar. I don't usually like settling on resources like that, but it's just the best spot out of all the ones that you're given. You're right up against the marble, so that helps you out with going for the oracle. Yes, you've got to have, absolutely have to get the oracle for this to work. And, um, yeah, the, thanks to the forests around it, it's not likely to get sick anytime soon. So, there we go, Lahore. And being on water helps too, and no jungles. So, working on a warrior. And our first tech, masonry. Because, yes, you need to found Hinduism and Buddhism, but it's the other three that you have to found that are the trick. Odds are you are not going to get to mathematics or calendar before the Chinese do. So really, it's just not worth trying. Unless you get lucky and get one from a tribal village, don't hold your breath on that. So instead, the five religions that you have to found are Judaism, in this order, Judaism, Hinduism, Buddhism, Christianity, and Islam. You use the oracle to get Christianity. What do we got here? Hey, a tech already! Masonry! It is from their foes. Oh, speeds things Not up a little bit, friends. that'll help. Okay, um, so then, yeah, go polytheism then. So, first thing you do is discover Judaism. Or it's found Judaism by discovering monotheism. In order to get to monotheism, you have to have uh, masonry and polytheism. So you've got to rush to it. If you don't rush to it, you will lose it to either a different sieve or, more likely, Jerusalem. So, now you head over that way. Now you head up in search of the second hut, and you give me one last warrior for now. Okay, head on up that way. Get the ones in Asia, or at least on you know, this side of Asia. Keep going. Alright, next one's right there. Okay, and now we need to make our way over Babylon so that we can make our way into Europe by way of Asia Minor. And hello, it's Gilgamesh of the Babylonians. How you doing? There shall be peace in our time. We have nothing to discuss. Goodbye. Now that we've got our three warriors, give me a worker. Get a quarry on that marble. Head up. Now you skirt along the southern edge of Siberia. Yeah, it's easy to make it, as long as you cut in through here, you can make it past Babylon and into here. And with this dude, you want to skirt along the southern edge, and we got polytheism. Let's go monotheism. This way. And alright, let's continue. Ready? This guy's gonna get the one that's... I think it might be Troy, actually. 
Now, I'm not 100% sure, but the, the location in Agent Minor, I think, is Troy. Though it might not be the city of Troy, obviously, since Troy was settled by the Greeks, but... Alright, we got gold from that one. So gold's never a bad thing to have. Now, once you get to this spot, you cut, start cutting upwards. 13 turns to monotheism. Make your way back to Lahore. Right, you want to head your way to that hill. You keep going. Get a nice map of the area. Ah, sounds like our worker's done. Yep. Get a quarry on that marble if you would please. Um, now we get another warrior. This one's going to be the defender for our next city. Alright, and there's the next tribal village, but let's get this one first. What do we got? A um, map. Great, we can see India, or er, Egypt. I'm so thrilled. Ugh. Oh well, how about this one? Tech? The Lord yes! You and keep you. That's awesome! Oh yeah! We got Buddhism to first, thanks the to the... Lift up his yeah, cool, cool. That's one less thing for us to research. No. Another tip, don't adopt any of the religions because you're going to have a lot of religion, different religions in your cities, and it's just not good for your stability. Uh, you know what? You go over there. You just, you stay there. So now, normally, I would work on a, uh, well, no, we do need a settler first before we work on the oracle, so go ahead. But the, there is a trick with the settler and your second city. You do not want to found your second city until you have already founded your first three religions. Another tech? Agriculture. Oh, farmers, nice. Pray that your summers be wet. All right. This, winter, this is going winter. pretty well. So yeah, we're going to be founding Dili right there instead of right there, which is where it originally wanted us to do it. That way you have access to the iron. It's going to be sick immediately, but that's okay. And you got, you know, the Still got the ivory and the rice and the wheat and the dye, so it's 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 a decent spot, and especially because of the iron that's going to be showing up right there. This is our first barbarian encounter. That dude's headed off to Sweden, and this dude's on his way to Denmark. All right, that's that turn. Three turns till we found Judaism. Two turns. As soon as we finish, up, oh, you're done there. We can't build roads yet since we don't have the wheel, but we can put a farm on this wheat, which is going to be very handy. You cut your way across, you head up, and Judaism is mine. I am the Lord thy God. Thou, thou shalt, shalt have, have no, no other, other gods, gods before, before me. me. So yes, here's Judaism. Booyah. And it's going to ask if we want to convert to it. We don't. And now... No, it's nothing but superstition. Now, finally, go meditation so that we can found Hinduism. Which normally is the first religion discovered in the world. This time it's the third. Or who knows, maybe the Chinese will get mathematics and uh, Confucianism before it. Who cares? Alright, almost there. We're doing our time. we got to... We still fit a few turns in. In fact, I might be able to discover all three uh, religions in this episode, which would be nice. Yeah, four turns. I can do four turns in two minutes. We got a settler. Well, you know what? He's so damn far away, and this warrior who's with him has a job to do aside from gathering tribal huts, so this dude's on his own. I sincerely doubt he's going to make it. You never know, he could get lucky, but I'd be pretty damn shocked. So anyway, now that that's done, head off to Portugal. Two tribal villages left. Three turns, two turns meditation. We've got the wheat hooked up. You go ahead and, um, oh shit, there's nothing you can do. Build a farm there, I guess. Uh, yeah, build a farm there. So that you got food and production from the tile. Okay, two. 
one, build a farm. You make your way to Sweden. And, oh yeah, there's Hinduism. Meditation so we've got our first three Lack religions. And no I do believe that, that would probably be, no, it's, not, it's nothing but superstition as well. Go for the wheel next so that we can actually build roads on everything. Get this, oh, the settler's not even, that's right, because of discovering uh, monotheism. All right, the because we got um, masonry from a tribal village. Anyways, we're going to end it there. This has been your Funky Honky with Let's Play Rise and Fall of Civilization India. Stay tuned for episode two, and I hope that you will see me next time.